people are working remotely, right? So let's say moms are working from home and everyone's like, well, you don't need to worry about this. What about this though, right? Your body goes on like routines, right? No matter what it is, you're hungry at like one o'clock, maybe not noon when everybody else is taking lunch, you're hungry at one. For some, have you guys talked about for people who work remotely, but are looking to pump or whatever the case may be is that there is time for like, hey, I know we're scheduled meetings back when I used to, you know, before children, it was at one o'clock, but actually now it's a time for feeding. How do you, how would you suggest people kind of have that conversation? Because again, this is all the great, all the great work you guys are doing for people going back into the office. But what about people who are working from home and maybe don't want to like rock the boat by asking a question like this, but it's, it's just the same type of priority though, right? Absolutely. I love, I love this. Um, And I'm glad you mentioned it. Yes. When you are a remote employee, if you are breastfeeding, it's not, it's not like it's a non-issue. It's just different. Um, And I think that's exactly right. You know, it's thinking about um, how employees structure their schedules when they work from home um, and making sure that, you know, if they have full control of their schedule, that they understand you're supportive of them blocking whatever time they need. If they have a job where they don't have full control of their schedule, let's say they're a, an hourly employee, they work in, you know, as a part of a call center, making sure that they're as their supervisor, as their employer, you thought about how break times uh, can be added into their schedule and that you work with them. To your point, not everybody pumps on the same exact schedule or same routine um, that that employee has a say uh, in incorporating those breaks, but that they're accounted for. Um, if you're asking moms who are remote, but maybe travel, think about how they're pumping on the go. Think about, you know, are you covering breast milk shipping so they can get their milk home, uh, from wherever they are. So yeah, not being in the office doesn't mean this is not an issue. Um, it's a different set of solutions and, and it's another part of the conversation we have with employers through the KIN program, uh, specifically to solve.